Hey friends, it's essentially Jesse. Today I'm talking to you guys about fall fragrances. I cannot wait to wear. I'm dying to wear these fragrances. Some of these fragrances I tried to wear this summer and it just didn't work out so good. So since it didn't work out well, I thought I'm just gonna put these on the back burner, wait till the temperatures cool off a little bit and then pull them back out. So off we go. Okay, I've got some newer fragrances that I recently hauled in this particular video and then uh i actually have like three zerge offs maybe four in this video so anyway but i did a recent haul you guys need to check that out i'm also decluttering all the things don't forget to subscribe click the notification bell so you'll be notified of all the like fun fragrance content anyway all right starting this off is Maison francis kirk john oops at mood I wore this this summer a couple of times. It works okay. Like it's just too loud and proud. It was, it was just too much. It was just too much. So this is Maison Francis Kirk John's Oud Satin Mood, not Oud Silk Mood. I'm not the biggest fan of that. Drop me a comment below if you like, what's your favorite Maison Francis Kirk John fragrance? Do you like Oud Silk Mood better? Oud Satin Mood? Where are we at on this? Anyway, so this is one, like I said, that I pulled out this summer a couple times. It was just, too much like it's a one sprayer guys like in summer this is a one spray and you are good for the whole day okay um next up is the og i feel like this is like the og fall fragrance fall and winter fragrance tom ford black orchid so good so good so good um it's fairly gourmand i'm also filming a gourmand like fall gourmand video today so i may toss this in there too um i don't really think of it as gourmand but it is fairly gourmand anyway tom ford black orchid if you know you know drop me a comment below i feel like this is one of those fragrances that you either love it or you do not love it <laughs> so drop me a black heart if you are a fan of the black orchid in the comment section below all right next up one of the zershoffs okay Cruz del Sur. So while this is a fruity tropical fragrance, I know this is going to be a little bit surprising. I have a couple of other surprises in here for you guys. Um, while this is a fruity tropical fragrance, this did not work for me in the summer. I, I wore it multiple times. Um, I had this in the huge haul. I like it. I don't love it. And I am dying for like mm, 60 degree weather to pull this out in. I think for me, this is going to be a more comforting, cozy fragrance. There's just something about Cruz del Sur 2 by Zerzhov that is really special and really cozy, like very comforting for me. Starlight. So I rock this in the summer but this is gonna be amazing in the fall and winter months. It's gorgeous. Like I couldn't not wear it after I got it, I think sometime midsummer. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. It's a really cool bottle. It's got the Zerzhoff like symbol all over it. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's a little bit boozy. It's a little bit fruity. It is definitely unisex. But this is gonna be so nice in the fall. I'm just gonna like douse myself in it. So Starlight by Zerzhoff, gorgeous. Okay, next up, Vaniglia. So Vaniglia and I have a love-hate relationship. I love this fragrance in fall, winter. I do not love this fragrance in summer. When it gets above 75, this fragrance, Vanig Vaniglia by Mazzolari, and my skin, mm -mm, it is not, it is not pretty and it does not smell good. I love this fragrance. So I'm so stoked to pull it out again in fall. I have not worn it all summer. I wore it last summer and yeah, it just me and summertime and Vaniglia by Mazzolari, we do not max match like mix and match. So it's a gorgeous fragrance though. Do you have any other Mazzolari fragrances? This is the only one in my collection. If there's another one that I need to check out, drop that below because I love the packaging. Like, I think it's really simple and pretty, but anyway. All right, next up. Okay, we'll go ahead and do this one. This is Overture by Zershoff. This is in their like velvet bottle collection. It's so good. It's really boozy. This is very unisex. May even lean a little more masculine. Overture by Zershoff is, it is something to behold. It is so good. It is so good. It is so good. Like it's boozy. It's, um, it projects really, really well. You don't have to overspray this one. I, 
am an oversprayer, I will admit it. Um, and oversprayed this one and it wasn't too much, but it was a lot. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Okay, I have one more search off for you guys. I know that there are four in this video. I know that that is a lot, but I got all of these this summer and I'm in love with them, but they are all more fall, winter fragrances for me. So I got Golden Dalla. This, I need to do a full fragrance review on this. This is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Golden Dalla by Zerzhov. It is, it's different. It's got um, spices in it. I got a tester bottle. It got a really good deal on it. Um, the notes are fresh exotic spices, coffee, absolute rose. Um, it does not smell like, um, what's the rose and coffee fragrance? Oh, if you can think of it, drop it in the comment below. Incense, oud, amber, tonka, cacao. So I, I'm not crazy about the top notes on Golden Dollar, but the dry down is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. So make it through the top notes. Wait for the dry down, yes. Okay, and then one more fragrance that I did not pull out at all this summer, I don't think, is By the Fireplace. I talked about this a lot last fall. I feel like it's just so good. I could not mention it in this video because I didn't really wear it. It has a little bit of a smoky smell to it. I was gonna say feel, but I don't think you feel fragrances. Um, it has a little bit of a smoky smell to it. So I didn't pull by the fireplace out by replica. Um, I just didn't pull it out this summer cause I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to smell like a bonfire and you know, summer, July, the high heat. Mm -mm. So by the fireplace is a beautiful fragrance. It's gorgeous. These are some fragrances that I'm dying to wear where I live. It is still very warm and I'm ready for cooler temperatures. So these are the ones that I will be pulling out like right off the bat as soon as there's a cold weather day. So drop me a comment below. Let me know if there's a fragrance that you are excited to wear this fall. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. Smell you later.